Hi, my name is Mark. I am with Imagination Station. And uh, we would like to welcome you to our new virtual tinkering program. Uh, we're going to do one of these a month for a while. And uh, what we're doing to start is we're going to make some electronic greeting cards. You will have bought the components or got one of the kits from us, and I'm going to show you what's inside the kit for our electronic greeting cards uh, for you to tinker with. So uh, first thing that is in the kit is, of course, cardstock and a little bit of fancy paper so you can do some decorating. Uh, then the next thing that you will need is our copper tape. The copper tape is uh, quite important because the copper tape is our wire that will conduct your electricity. Uh, then we will also have some uh, light emitting diodes or LEDs, light emitting diodes. So here, here are some of these. Let's uh, put them where you can see them a little bit better. And, um, and then uh, you will also get three batteries. So in theory, these should be enough to uh, create three greeting cards, plus some extra to, uh, to do some experimenting with. So uh, let's get started. Now we're going to build a circuit. So for this, you need uh, uh, just your LED and a, uh, and a battery. So for my LED and battery circuit, uh, you need to take a quick look at your battery. Um, notice that one side has a positive on it and the other side is just sort of a raised platform. And then your LED has one leg that is slightly longer than the other leg. And on the side with the shorter leg, if you feel it very carefully, you can feel that uh, everything is rounded except there's an area right next to the short side that is flat. Now the longer side on our LED is positive and the shorter side with the flat mark is negative. And as we saw on our battery, there is a positive side to the battery. It has the plus sign and then the raised platform is the negative side. So we're gonna combine these two together to get it to light up. Now, if you combine it the wrong way, not much happens. So if it doesn't light up right away, you wanna flip around your battery and try it again. And notice that it then does light up and it does begin to shine. Um, so again, if it doesn't work right away, try flipping it over. And that is a very simple circuit. Now, uh, why don't we actually build a slightly more complicated circuit, the one that will use our copper tape uh, in place of our wire? So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to make uh, one leg of our, of our copper circuit uh, wire. Um, and uh, and then, I, then we'll uh, lay down the second leg. So here, let's start just this way. All right, so once we have the one leg down, we need to make the other leg as well. The problem is we have to be very careful. When we're doing this, we can't have the positive side and the negative side of our uh, circuit touch each other. So in this instance, 
what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply the battery before we build the rest of our circuit. So I want to put the negative side down. So find your plus sign and that should be facing you. And the, uh, and the raised platform side should be down. So what we're going to do with th this copper tape to help us attach it is we're gonna rip off a piece just like that and then we're gonna make a little loop. So see our little loop? We're gonna put it right here on the bottom of our circuit and I'm gonna stick this down right like that. So that copper tape helps us hold it together and the other nice thing about the copper tape done this way is the glue is conductive, just like the tape. So it helps that electricity flow through your tape. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the other side of our leg. Now notice I peeled the two sides back from each other. It's very, very important that you do not have the two different sides, the positive side and the negative side, touching each other. Because the electrons will, uh, or uh, the charge will flow from the positive side through the tape to the negative side. And you wanna force it through our uh, LED. So we want to force the electrons to go from the positive side uh, with their charge through the copper tape into the LED and then back to the battery. So here we go, we're gonna just do that. And see how it lights up already? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually tape those down with copper tape. Another nice tip is you want to uh, ensure that your, uh, your copper tape overlaps at the corners because if it just barely touches, that's not a lot of uh, surface for the charge to go through. You want maximum surface for your charge to flow through your copper tape. So there we go. And another nice thing that you can do when you're, uh, when you're building this, just to make sure you don't accidentally uh, have a short circuit, is you can use a little bit of uh, regular tape, scotch tape or masking tape to uh, help hold your battery in place and also to uh, insulate your, your battery so that you don't have any chance that the battery is going to accidentally touch where you don't want it to. Because what happens is if it touches where you don't want it to, we take our, our tape and we do it like this. And notice how my light goes out. That is, uh, that's a bad thing because the, electri the, uh, the, the charge is going through uh, here into the tape and then back into the battery, skipping our LED altogether because electricity is lazy. It wants to flow the easiest way. So if, uh, if it's forced to go through the LED, then you can make the LED work. But if it can skip that LED and flow in an easier way, like through the copper tape, it will do so. Now, um, this is, uh, you've got a circuit. You could decorate it. You could, uh, as you notice, it's vaguely heart-shaped for Valentine's Day, since it's February. Um, very vaguely heart-shaped, but, um, you might want uh, your, your light to not be on all the time. Because notice that uh, this is just gonna keep blinking and, and stay on 
uh, until the battery dies. But if you want your, your battery to last a little longer, we need to create something that will make the battery last uh, some more time. That is a switch. So now that we're gonna talk about a switch, let's, uh, I'm gonna use a, a few components that are similar, but a little bit different than what we've been looking at. We're going to look at, first of all, a battery, uh, much like our watch battery. So, uh, and then we're also going to look at um, another type of light. This is an Edison light. This is the, uh, the kind that, uh, that, that your grandparents used to use and uh, I used to use. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, light this up the same way. So instead of the copper tape, we have our wire. There's our wire. And then I want to, I'm going to switch this around because I want to show you that it's a circle, like all circuits are circles. And notice that the batteries uh, have the charge flow through this wire. And then the charge goes through our uh, light bulb, lighting it up and then it flows back into our battery. Now, the problem with this, of course, is, like I said before, it's going to eventually have the battery die. So you, you want your, uh, your flashlight or your light bulb or your TV to, uh, to not use power all the time. So that's when you need a switch. So we're going to add this switch. To add the switch, all you have to do is you have to add it to the circle. So here is the circle reformed. But as you can see, the light bulb didn't light up. It's because our switch is open. If we close the switch, then it turns on our, uh, our light bulb. So the electricity is still flowing. Uh, through the positive side, into the switch, through the switch, to our batteries, and then back through the light, around and around. And uh, we can turn on and off this switch. Uh, so that's how you build a switch. And we're gonna do the same thing uh, with our copper tape. So, I'm using one of the templates. Uh, this, this one's slightly different than the ones that you're going to have uh, in your packet, but it's, it's close enough. Um, and uh, notice that uh, our light isn't on. And to complete the circuit on this one, I have to actually fold this over. But it's still not lighting up because we don't have our switch in yet. And the way I'm gonna make the switch is just out of a nice little piece of paper and some tape. So see this little piece of copper here? That is uh, going to complete our circuit. Much like when we close the switch, we're gonna close our uh, circuit that same way. So I'm gonna put this little guy here, uh, tape him down, and then when I flip this over, first let's do that, flip this over, and see how our light lights up? There we go, it lights up. Uh, just like it should. And it turns off, lights up, turns off, lights up. So, uh, simple paper switch. All you gotta do is add that in. Problems that you can have. Now on, on this one we have right here, notice that uh, this there are actually two lights here, and one of them lights up, but the other one doesn't. And the reason is, this, uh, this light's in backwards. So if I flip this battery over, flip the battery over, do it like this, then when, the, uh, then when it closes, it should light up the other way. Unless, of course, I have a short circuit. So another uh, quick 
thing that you can do to make sure everything is the way it should be is make sure our corners are covered in tape, like so that the tape uh, overlaps at the corners and that everything's pressed down. And uh, if something doesn't work, you can always flip over the battery and see if that was the problem. So as you can see, it does get it to light up again when I flip the battery over. So there are, uh, and those are some good troubleshooting things that you can do. Often it's, it's a contact issue if the, if the electricity doesn't flow enough. Um, and uh, uh, you could also, it's important to test each of your, uh, your LEDs and your batteries before you put them into your, your system, just to make sure that you didn't accidentally get a bad battery. And now finally, I think it's important to uh, sort of bring this all together and bring it home a little bit with uh, showing you how we've actually created some cards. So notice my, uh, my little pumpkin friend here uh, lights up when I, uh, when I press this down. And you can even write, see like it says right here, press here. So you can, you can actually write that. Um, and then when you hold it down, uh, see how the pumpkin lights up? Um, and this has a very simple switch inside. So let's take a look at that. Um, so notice that the, uh, the negative side of the battery goes here and uh, goes into our little LED, which is under the tape. And, uh, and then this is the positive side. And to connect the battery to the positive side, you actually have our little switch. Um, and so when you press them down together, it lights up your pumpkin. So let's take a close look at it. Uh, so negative side, our LEDs under here, positive side, and then this long piece is our switch because it connects the positive to the positive line, getting it to light up when you press your button. So, very nice, very well designed. Uh, I'm going to not take credit for this one. Let's look at a different one now. This one is called a parallel circuit. So as you see, we have our battery here, and this, this whole line is our positive side, and we have our negative side over here, and, uh, and look, there is actually a nice uh, circuit right here, because this connects and it goes right back to the battery. And then this side connects and this goes back to the battery. So this is one circuit, this is two circuits, and you could even add another one over here for a third circuit. And, uh, and that would make, uh, your, uh, you, you could add a lot more lights. Uh, unfortunately, it will, your battery will run down a little bit faster on this one, but that's okay because it's pretty cool when you can have multiple lights on one battery. So, um, kind of fun. And so uh, we'd like to thank you for coming and uh, making some cards with us. Um, if you have questions, if you, get stuck, please feel free to reach out to us here at Imagination Station. Um, and uh, thank you again for joining us.